Okay, hi and welcome back, Larry's Computer Class. Today we're going to talk about doing resumes. Uh, I have an example here for you. Um, we'll go through it to show you. I didn't want to waste all the time typing the whole thing out because it can take uh, an hour or two to do to the whole thing start to finish. But we have an example here. What you want to do is you want to put all your personal information on the top line, your address, your phone number, your email. So they know how to get in touch with you. Put your name right at the very top. So as soon as they look at the top page, they know who you are and where you're from and how to contact you. Uh, move this over in the center. All this stuff is movable. Put it in the center. Put your name in the top. Next thing you want to do is objective. What's your goal? Uh, what job are you looking for? What's your, what's your future goals? What you want to obtain? I want to obtain a challenging management position. They will offer both personal and professional growth in an environment that is team-oriented and fast-paced. Uh, imp implement my college degree if you have one, or if you have a special skill, say you just finished a welding class or something like that, or you just finished a cooking class and you want to be a chef, you want to put that in there and implement my, my cooking skills or my welding skills. And then under that, next you want to talk about your skills, what you're good at. Uh, if you're going to be a cook, for example, you would put down the type of food that you like to cook, whether it's uh, breakfast, lunch, dinner, uh, desserts, main courses, a line chef, anything like that. You'd put down what you've done, any a brief description of any services you've done, uh, communication, organization, typing, mathematical, and problem solving. Uh, one thing you want to remember uh, is a thing called keywords. Like keywords in here for skill, uh, communication, problem solving, things like that. Um, in the first one, you want personal and professional growth, uh, fast pace, team oriented, people skills, phone skills, anything like that. A lot of your big companies mostly corporate America, not so much your your small businesses, your family-owned businesses, but most of your corporate America, uh, the way they do things nowadays with resumes is you turn in a resume, and what happens to all the resumes that get turned into the company is they're run through a scanner, they're scanned, and then they're evaluated through a computer system, and the computer system looks for keywords uh, if they don't find any keywords, your resume is tossed off to the side and they keep it on file for six months because the law says they have to and after six months they throw them away. And if the computer scans your resume and it finds keywords, uh, if you're looking for an office job, they're looking for Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, typing, math skills, people skills, things like this. You want to make sure you use these keywords, but don't overdo it. Uh, the computer is going to scan your resume. It's going to pick out keywords. If it finds two or three or four, or whatever the company sets the program to look for, then your resume is put in a separate file, and those resumes will be looked over by an actual person. That's the way uh, things are done nowadays in corporate America. Like I said, your small family business is a little different. Your small family business, a person is going to read every resume they get. Uh, okay, to continue, uh, next you want to put a summary. You want to put what you're proficient in, what you're good in, well, what you have experience in, things like that. It's just a quick summary of, of your work history. Proficient with Word, Excel, PowerPoint. Completed 20 plus online classes in four years. Customer service oriented on all levels. Uh, on all levels, that means talking to people in person, talking to people on the phone, uh, to maybe talking to companies over the phone, setting up different things for the company, starting new programs, things like that, uh, working with maybe some of the management team, uh, working directly with maybe even the higher management, upper management, things like that. That's what it means by, in, by all levels, working with people on all levels. Uh, included but not limited to co-workers, executive administrators, able to multitask, and systematically link between computer programs with accuracy. 
Uh, multitask, that means you can work on more than one project at a time. Some people, some people can do that. Some people are better if they work on one project at a time. You work on one project, you finish it, you go on to the next project. You finish that, you go on to the next project. Uh, multitask is working on several things at one time. And then you list your employment. You always start your employment from your current job. So you would say the date you started till present. And then you list all your other jobs underneath that. You notice everything's nice and neat in columns. The date, the places, date, places, uh, where, 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 the location, uh, your title. Everything's all nice and neat. Scoot this over, put that in line with the rest. Uh, then after that, you do your education, where you went to high school. Um, you can put junior high, you can put first to eighth grade if you're in the states. The states have one to eight, and then high school is nine to twelve. Uh, other countries are a little bit different. Some countries have uh, 1 through 6, and then 7 through 12, so on and so on, depends on where you're from. Uh, any college you put when you started to when you finished, the college you went to, the location, and you just put a title on what you went to college for, cooking, welding, teaching, anything like that, you put it there. Are uh, your references? I put references on request. Uh, you can put that if you want, then they can, if they want your application, if they've looked at it, they like it, they want to see you. Uh, when you come in for an interview, they may ask for your resume, your references. Um, they may call you on the phone and ask you to email them, however they want to do it. You want to try and keep your resume to one page the best you can. Uh, it's not as important as, as it was years ago, years ago. Um, when I was going to college and stuff like that, a little before that, if your resume was more than one page, they wouldn't even look at it. They just stuck it in a file somewhere. Today, the two pages is acceptable only because um, it's more likely that people have more job changing through their career. They have different jobs. It's more likely that people change jobs more often nowadays than they did years ago. Uh, years ago, like with our parents or our grandparents, they had one job. Most of them had one job that lasted their whole entire career. Now, that's not so true anymore. People have four or five different careers throughout their life. So they, they're going to have a little more room on their, in their employment. So two pages is acceptable, but if you can keep it on one, uh, keep it on one. And one page is the reason why I put references on request. Only because if I put down references, it would have gone to a second page. Uh, if you have a little shorter work history and you can fit your references here, one, two, three, you need at least three, um, put them on the page. If they fit on one page, no problem, put them on the page and be done with it. And that's about it. There's a quick, brief description on how to do a resume. Okay, I hope this was helpful. Thanks.